Hi everyone and welcome to DobbySignature.com. In this video, we'll be learning how to make buka stew, authentic buka stew. You know the type of stew you get served at local restaurants, you know, with shaki, yabodi, roundabout, every single thing. With a very unique taste that you can actually use for swallows, yam, anything at all. Now this is a stew right here. So let's get cooking. Before we begin, if you're new here, welcome to the family. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future yummy posts like this. Okay? Now let's get cooking. First, we'll start by bleaching the oil. Okay, just pour the oil into the pot you'll be using and cover. A detailed video on how to do that will be left in the description or you can just check the top right hand side. Once you bleach the oil, you set that aside. Now this is a very technical skill, so you have to watch the video. To begin, I'll start by cooking the shaki intestines and the cowhide, which is one more. I'm going to add salt and crushed seasoning to this. And add a little water. We're going to leave this to cook for about 20 minutes before adding the beef into the pot. Just add the beef and I'll give this a good stir. I'm going to cover this and leave all the meats to cook. Till soft. Okay. Once it's very soft, I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm going to blend all the peppers, tomatoes, onions into a smooth puree. You can check the description for the full list of ingredients and pour this into a pot now we're going to cook this till it gets concentrated like this next i'll add the tomato paste this is to give it more volume and i would add the bleached oil then stir this gently and we're going to leave this to fry for a few minutes so the oil settles on top like this once the oil settles on top you'll know it's well fried Now the next step will be to add the meats as well as the stock into the pot. Just stir this gently. Give this a good stir and then I'll cover this and leave to simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes.
finally there's no buka stew without eggs so i'm just going to add this the eggs into the buka stew so it's going to soak up the oil you know how it's done so you don't just eat plain eggs you eat oil soaked eggs <laughs> and your buka stew is ready Now you can serve this with amala. It will do. You can serve this with rice. You can serve this with beans, spaghetti, anything you want to serve it with. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, do hit the thumb up. Okay, and we'll see you in the next video. Till next time, bye bye.